What's going on everybody? This is Zach with Strictly Shisha. When I review products, I think it's all about perspective. So for example, when I recommended you guys get the Zara Spade Hookah, I said for the price, that was a great pipe. A pipe under 100 bucks for what you got, great value. Now when I'm over here telling you guys about the threading on the B2, it's because I'm being overly critical because that is a very expensive pipe. So I put things into perspective for you guys. I'm not gonna tell you how much this thing costs. Throughout this video, when I talk about the pros, the cons, the features, I want you guys to think, how much do you think this thing is worth to you? And at the end, let's discuss the price. So this is the CNC made pipe from 5starhookah.com. So 5star has been talking about producing a hookah for a long time. When he was like, Zach, do you wanna review this pipe? Didn't tell me much about it. I had to kind of squeeze it out of him that this was the 5 star made pipe. And I've been looking forward to reviewing a pipe from 5 star for a very long time. Alex has seen pipes from all across the world. He has a very vast collection himself. I'm sure he knows a lot about features and quality and things like that. It's about time he makes a pipe himself. So this pipe here is made in Los Angeles, is a modular pipe and it's made from aluminum. It's a CNC made pipe, so it's machine made. All of them will be consistent. When you guys get yours at home, mine here, they'll be the exact same. You don't have to worry about welding and flaws and things just being different. They're all gonna be consistent. Something I love, you guys know I'm a modern pipe guy and I am really liking this CNC made pipe. It seems like Alex has taken influence from all across the world, from Brazil to other countries and put it all into one pipe that's readily available here in the United States. So let's get into this pipe. On the bottom here, I am rocking a hoob base. Not something easily available, but you can pair this pipe with any base of your choosing. It would go really well with my Dashini Fragment base. I've thrown this on Egyptian bases. Very, very versatile when it comes to bases. Now, on the down stem here, very nice long down stem. It is anodized red, and I actually really like that. It looks really cool seeing it through the base, but it doesn't have a threaded diffuser. Now, a lot of you don't want a threaded diffuser, but I'm someone who loves using diffusers when I'm watching movies, even when I'm doing these videos. It's not gurgling and making so much noise and bothering me. So I am using a star diffuser on here today, also available very easily if you guys wanna throw a diffuser on here. Same diffuser I use on my Sheikahs and other pipes. So star diffuser on the bottom. So my first recommendation for this pipe is to have a threaded diffuser. So if you're someone who doesn't like diffusers, take it off and pretend it was never there. But if you're like me, you have a machine diffuser on there that works really well. It's designed for this hookah. And I hear Alex is already considering that for the second versions. By the way, Alex asked me to give him feedback to make this product better. That was the whole point of this review, so that's what I'm doing. So I would recommend a threaded diffuser, but we're still moving on from now. Going on up the down stem, you get into the heart of the hookah, and this is a removable threaded down stem. Now some of you are like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Zach, we saw that Sahara smoke video. We don't like threads anymore, we're scared of them. But I'm telling you, I've come to terms with the fact that modern hookahs now are going to be threaded. I don't know if that's because of the FDA regulation or the ease of clean or whatever may have you, but most hookahs now, modern hookahs, are gonna be threaded. I think that when the threads are good, it is more of a pro than a con. So for this particular hookah, the threads are absolutely amazing. I'm talking about the best threads I have ever seen in the stem itself. The down stem thread is not as great, but it's still really good, so I am not worried about this thing cross-threading failing me ever. The paint has come off a little bit on the threads as you screw it into the heart, but that's to be expected. So, the threads on this, perfect. I am not worried about them ever getting stuck cross-threading. I've left this in water, I've beat it around, and it's still perfect. So, for all of you who saw that Sahara Smoke video and you're scared of threads, this thing is not gonna let you down, and I'm really confident with the threads in this. Moving on up into the heart, you have a traditional chamber, very, very wide gauge hose port and purge port, very, very nice. The purge on this, I hear it's similar to a Brazilian purge, has that machine gun style purge. Some really like it, all I know is it works very well. The base today is a genie style, not the best base for purging, but the purge works so well, it does clear it very well. So let me show you guys the purge. Good excuse to smoke. You guys ready? Can you see me? All right. 
one breath and you've expelled a lot of smoke from the base. So very functional purge, has an oversized BB in there, sets back very nicely when you're not smoking. So fantastic purge. To reiterate on something I just mentioned, the ball does set back after you're done purging. Now, most of you are like, isn't the ball supposed to set back? I've seen with some hookahs, especially high-end hookahs, one in particular, the ball doesn't always set back and you get that open air gap when you're trying to smoke again. You have to suck it really hard. Someone like my friends or my girlfriend, when she's trying to smoke and the ball's not reset, it's hard for her to get that ball to reset. You can audibly hear that ball dropping back in there and resetting with no problem. And I'll show you guys that right now. You can hear the ball dropping back in. Dropping back in, no problem. So I love that. Something so simple, all hookahs should automatically do it, but yet some of them don't, so very functional. Hose port, it's a recessed hose port similar to a Regal and is nice and wide open so you can fit your really fatty hoses in there. Today I am using a Golden Desert hose with a smaller aluminum hose port in there. It's a little bit small, so I have to use an oversized grommet. Doesn't bother me, but if you have the right grommet, it'll fit very nicely. So I liked the versatile hose port. No gripes with the hose port at all. Everything is really nice and seamless in there. It's really, really good design. Moving on up, like I said, this is a modular stem with threaded portion. So you can actually remove this middle piece and shorten down the stem. If you want to transport it or you want to open the draw a little bit, a lot of reasons why it's great for a tabletop. You're not having to like pick coals all the way up in the sky. So I like that. I think all modern hookahs that are threaded, you should be able to take out the middle portion and shorten it very easily. So I like that it goes from a 24 inch hookah to a 17 inch hookah. Depending how you feel, if you just wanna change the scenery, you can actually shorten it. Now the threads on that middle portion, as we talked about, these are beautiful, beautiful, phenomenal threads. Let me tell you why. Not only are they beefy, chunky, they're never gonna cross thread, when you actually screw it on there, it almost locks into place, which I love. You guys know I'm a fan of the Prometheus threads. These are even better because it has that smooth edge to it. It's just, it's really, really nice. Also, I've smoked like six, seven bowls, really, really juicy stuff. I mean, the water was just brown and murky and just a lot of molasses and juice were going down through the stem. There was no dripping at all at these almost hard to see seams. It's really, really nice. You guys saw my review of the Aviator hookah, a hookah of similar price point. It did leak. So if you smoke three bowls back to back of really juicy stuff, you'll actually notice the juice coming out of the stem on the Aviator. This does not drip at all. The threads are always clean. That means the threading job on this was done very well and by a professional. So I love the threads on here. In terms of the seams, the top seam is almost hard to even see. You wouldn't even know it's there. The bottom seam, you can see it a little bit, but I really don't care. I really like it, so it's really nice. The design on this whole hookah is very simplistic. It's designed to work. No frills, no nothing, no gimmicky parts to it. It's just a very seamless, very cool design. Moving on up into the tray port, it is not a locking tray. This tray does swivel, but something I saw when I first opened this, there is a rubber gasket that sits on that tray rest to go underneath the tray. Now, I'm like, I just saw it and it just made me smile. I was like, this is so genius, something so simple. And not that you need it by any means, but it's just cool that it's there. That prevents a lot of the tray rumbling that you might hear or even just preventing it from moving. It's just a simple piece, something I would put on all my hookahs. So, Alex, sell that little piece to put on other hookahs. I think my B2 needs that. My B2 tray wobbles a little bit, makes a little bit of noise. I think that gasket in there will make it really, really nice. Moving on up into the bowl port. Something again, you think it's so simple, yet people have had problems with it. This bowl port is phenomenal. As you guys see today, I am using a good fella V3 bowl and it is very snug on here. Some bowl ports I've had gripes with, I don't like the original Regal bowl port, which they've now changed. I don't like the Prometheus bowl port, which I think is still the same. I don't like that curved bowl port. It makes it hard to fit a grommet on there and be nice and secure. This is very, very simple and it works with bowls that use Egyptian grommets, mod grommets, whatever. Fantastic, simple, perfect bowl port. And the anodization on the bowl port is usually what rubs off the first, the paint on there. The paint on this is still perfect and I beat this thing. This thing is holding up well. So overall finish on this, it's it's beautiful. It feels super, super high end. This is fantastic. 
fantastic. If you guys are not noticing by now, I'm very impressed by this pipe. This is really, really nice. The finish on the tray itself, same matching red anodization. I've left coals on here just to test no discoloration. In my opinion, nice large size. It did get Oscar seal of approval as well. Very good functional large tray. Simple design, yet it works. The whole motto of this hookah, simple, yet it works. Alex, I'm coining that. Simple, yet it works. Moving on into the draw because I'm ready to smoke and I'm tired of talking to you guys. Just kidding. Mmm. The draw on this thing, super wide open, has that large gauge down stem paired with a nice wide open hose port. Very, very effortless, wide open draw. Yields those huge, huge clouds. The other day I was smoking with my friend Max. He came over and he saw this. I packed a bowl and he was like, man, Zach, gotta buy one. A few days later, sent me a picture. He bought one. He liked it that much. Samir came over. Samir's like, oh, I'm cheap. I don't know if I want to buy a new hookah. Smoked out of this thing. He wants to buy one now. So the draw, the smokeability, the quality, everything on this thing is top tier. Very, very good. I mean, I love smoking this pipe. So let's get into the question of what is this thing worth and how much you guys gonna pay. So think about that real quick. You've seen the features, you know. Alex asked me to give feedback on this thing. He's like, tell me how I can improve this thing. And what's the only improvement I can say? It needs a threaded diffuser, and that's just a preference thing. So I have no flaws with this pipe. So what's the price? This version one CNC machine pipe, red, retails for $159. That's mind blowing in my opinion. I think that I choose to smoke this pipe over pretty much everything in my collection these days. And you guys know I have pretty much everything. I smoke this over my Starbuzz. I smoke this over my B2. I love smoking this pipe. Granted, does a B2 have more features? Yeah, but you're paying three times the price. So, a lot of people ask me, what pipe should they buy? I think if you have a $200 budget, don't buy the Starbuzz, don't buy the Prometheus, buy the CNC made pipe. You can still pair a base with it, you can still pair a bowl with it, and you're still under that $200 mark. This thing is value, yet you're not sacrificing quality, you're not sacrificing performance. It's an all around pack. I think Alex is, is playing a prank on people. This thing is honestly a really good deal. I'm that impressed, look at me. I look impressed, don't I? This thing is a wonderful pipe, and I would highly recommend it to anyone looking to upgrade their hookah setup, looking for an additional hookah, something they wanna show off to friends, something they just wanna rip at home alone, something, any reason you need to buy it, I, I'd recommend it. For this price point, it's worth it. I personally, as cheap as I am, with as many hookahs as I have, I would say this thing is worth 250 bucks, easy. I would, if I had to pick between buying this and a Starbucks again, I would pick this. Simply because the versatility of it, the quality of it, the smoke performance, just everything yields to a good buy. Now, I'm sorry if that sounded like an ad, but I genuinely really like this product and I fully support it. So if you guys are looking to buy a new pipe, check out Five Stars website, check out the CNC made pipe. I know a lot of other vendors are also carrying this pipe. I think Hookah Heroes has it, Junkie has it. So a lot of vendors do carry the CNC made pipe and they should. It's a very, very good pipe, regardless of the price. It's, it's a very good pipe. So thank you guys always for watching. I always appreciate you guys and happy smoking and hope everyone's doing well. Thanks guys, bye.